I have parcel post. I have got parcel post. And it's from across the pond. It's from Brian Best at Anarchy Models UK. I was not expecting this package. Brian is awesome. Today, we're going to see what he sent me. already feels fun. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. Usually he sends me stuff that is not in production yet. It's pre-production. He's been working on a bunch of stuff. This is a lot of stencils. Good lord. Snake skin. We got some snake skin going on. Thank you, Brian. You're awesome. Let's take a look at what we've got. Let's see here. I know the camera's moving. It's because the tiny puppy rascal is underneath the tripod. And he's getting comfortable. So, snakeskin is awesome. Small and mini. That looks like it is in production. Because it's already on his stencil system. Looks like we've got fur or lines of some sort. This would, I've already got some thoughts on what I'm going to be doing with this. We have some teeny, 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 tiny. Let's see, which model is this? This is the HS48 Creature Features 11 micro modeled. And the HS45 Creature Feature 9 micro modeled. And this is, let's see, the HS34 Snakeskin Micro. And then we've got, oh, we've got some bubbles. That's cool. This could be cool for bluegill or pumpkin seed. Wow. I am stoked beyond all stoked. Reptile, this would, this would make outstanding, outstanding lizard skin for skinks and stuff like that. Oh, dude, this is so awesome. Brian, you are the man. Dragon scales. We know that I love dragons for the throne. And mini leopards, like super mini. Like that's the smallest leopard detailing I've seen, but it would also look good on baby tiger musky. So there's a lot we can do with this tons and tons and tons. Brian Best, you are the best. Thank you so, so much. That's it for the unboxing. Quick one for the morning. Once again, Brian Best, Anarchy Models UK. Go check him out. I'm going to drop a link in the description below. He's got phenomenal stencils. They are very practical. They are very useful um, for everyday stuff, for modeling, and for airbrushing fishing lures. Very quick turnaround time, you, even though they're coming from across the pond in England, Great Britain. So that is the website, but I'm also going to drop that into the description below for you guys. Brian, again, thank you so much. You have a fantastic day. Hey, I feel like I just left you guys. In fact, I did. It's another day for y'all, but it's not for me. It's the same day, but I just wanted to split this up into two because there was just a lot to show. So we're going to start with these three. You guys watched what I shot last week on this. Um, and this is how they turned out. Love the foiling. Hopefully the camera's picking that up because it is pretty cool. I like it. They turned out very well. Nice and foily, nice and shiny. Just the right places. And this is that vermilion darter. And there's several of them. I'm not going to show you each and every piece because there's two types. One has got a chartreuse belly and kind of a greenish chartreuse side and the other one is just the orange and blue of the darter. So we have those, and then we have eight other pieces, actually nine, but two patterns. 
This is that Dinger pressing, and it's the 100 DD. And I just sent a couple of these. Um, Brian over at Dinger was gracious enough to send a couple my way, so I sent two of them up to Michigan Outdoors TV. Um, well, actually, I think it's Tina Lemur, and they're they just got a brand new gorgeous boat so i'm excited to see what they're going to be doing with that and i asked them to troll them uh, so hopefully we'll get a report in the next week or two on how these babies troll um, they're looking for walleye on stuff like this and um, the only reason i put a crawl pattern because I, I you guys let me know all the time um, if it were a top pattern jerk bait probably would not put a crawl on it although the imperial crawl that i've done and there's a few others really really catch the walleye up in new york and in the northern areas and the lakes and stuff so a lot of the times it's how the angler is able to work the jerk bait if they're properly using it and it's a reaction bite but colors are triggers patterns are triggers and for some reason they like all the lines in this jerk bait pattern so this is the spring crawl and i did some red veining and orange through the top if you guys can see that it probably shows up better on these little Johns Let's see if we can get this onto that for you guys but some really pretty pretty orange veins run underneath this and they're deeper they're not fluorescent because I wanted a little bit darker of a transition for for the bait to show and the bottoms and then on the other little John and these are for CJ Wilson he is a brand new guide up in the Spring River Thayer area so congratulations CJ this is the hot tuna which I can understand why he requested these because they are money makers for smallmouth in the gin clear waters Smallmouth have a tendency to be drawn and attracted to bright colors. Uh, if you guys ever watch Zona Live, they show him and, um, oh, I always call him Mullet Man, but I can't remember his name to save my life. But you guys know who I'm talking about from Elites. Um, dang it. And he's, he's, a, he's a northern dude, too. I cannot think. I, I, I always think of Joe Dirt. Um, but, yeah, that guy. Um they caught the mess out of smallmouth with bright colors so and it was just super super clear i think it was right around the thousand islands area they were fishing and uh, bright yellows bright pink so this is the hot tuna pattern and it is all the fluorescent colors that createx makes go into this and then it's just an overspray really cool thin spiderweb meshing and you can use a dryer sheet or you can use Pellon Wonderweb. You can get Pellon at a fabric store, Joann's, Michael's. I think you can get it at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. So that is what we have for you guys today. Some tasty little nuggets of goodness. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. If you have any questions, comments, leave them for me below. You know, I do my best to answer each and every one of you. I will see you guys on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.